Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So I am filming in the living room here today. Uh, so we have Jemmy who is in quite the rambunctious mood, running around, jumping on plastic bags, making a lot of noise. So apologies in advance. Also, I'm just gonna address this right away. I need to put a wedding photo in this frame. This is not me and Corey. This is just a photo that I came with. <laughs> that was a gift from our wedding and I really wanna put it there. Uh, I just need to put a picture in it. So FYI, if you're like, who is that? I don't know. I don't know who it is. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of, this is gonna just be like a vlog style type of what did I buy? Because I bought a lot of random stuff today. I ran a lot of errands. I had to go out and about and do things. Um, so I went to Walmart, I went to Target, went to Sephora. Um, and I just picked some things up and I just wanted to share them and, but disclaimer, they're like really random. So I started at Walmart and you know, I passed these and I had to pick them up. They only had four on the shelf. Crazy, right? Maybe now I think they had like four. Uh, these are the mega cotton balls from Equate. So these are better than the jumbo cotton balls. They're like two to three of the jumbo cotton balls if you can tell they are like very massive they can soak up like two full cubes of scentsy wax so they are really really big um if you can find them buy them i think i have one op unopened pack left and you know i tell you guys if you see them buy them and practice what you preach you know so i saw them and i picked them up because Gemma, what's going on? What's going on? I told you guys, she's on another level. Are you okay? Plastic bag type now. <sighs> like, I love Gem, but like, it's so hard because we can't communicate. <laughs> okay, and then while I was also at Walmart, I... They're like totally have all their like back to school, college, you know, all those things. And so right by the entrance, I passed these. It's this small, easy access bin. It was a two pack. I wish I could remember how much it cost me. It was $3. So they were $1.50 each. Um, they're taped together. I wonder if I can get them apart. I really like them because they have this like indent so not that you would stack them necessarily but I feel like they're easy to get into I mean they're called easy access for a reason obviously but I feel like they're really simple to get into because of that um and I don't want to break them even though I already only paid a dollar fifty for them that doesn't mean I want to bust them but apparently you have to be smarter than I am to open them what the heck? Oh, they're taped on the bottom too. Jeez Louise. Okay. They're difficult to get apart, but here they are once you get them apart. So I thought these would be really nice to put anywhere, but like they have this little lip so you can put stuff in them. They're like, clearly they're only $1.50. Like they're not the sturdiest plastic, but I feel like these are really nice and they have handles. So these would be super nice if you were going to college. Uh, I just wanted them for my house. So, pick those up. Thought it'd be nice. Okay. Um, I think the rest of this home stuff I got at Target. So, uh, right when I walked into Target, in the Target dollar spot, they had these. I was like, oh my gosh. Amazing. I, I never find stuff in the Target dollar spot because mine's always wiped clean they must have clearly just restocked it because it was like plum full today. So these are like these super popular, like they're a cutting board look, but they're on legs. So they're like a stand. This was $5 in the Target dollar spot. This is not a fancy like thing by any means. Like this isn't that sturdy. It's hot glued together. Like you could probably make this yourself, honestly. Um, but it has the look that it looks like it's a lot of money. And I feel like these are super in for decor. So I don't entirely know where I'm gonna put this. I don't have like a massive kitchen. Um, and I've just been trying to like here and there 
spruce things up a little bit. Like I recently bought this from Home Goods and I absolutely love it. It's like a milk glass jar looking thing with like wildflowers in it. Um, but like very seasonally appropriate florals. So um, I've just been slowly trying to upgrade <laughs> some of the things in our house. We're not like super decor people and Corey's not really a big fan of like clutter clutter so even though like I have a lot of stuff behind me on um the shelf here it's Corey approved he's like you have a lot going on here but like it looks okay it's fine like it's not piled it's it all has a place so it was fine so I feel like elevating things has really helped me kind of organize more messier spaces but this one looks really cute I love the wood grain like look of it looks like a cutting board like it's super super in um, and I set it down. It's stable. It's not like any wobbly legs. I wouldn't put anything too heavy on this because it was $5 from the Target dollar spot. Um, but ideally at some point, Corey and I want to buy, um, we want to move and we want to move into a, a little bit of a bigger house, not necessarily our forever home. Um, but a little bit of a bigger house, not necessarily bedroom wise, but like bigger kitchen, bigger living areas, you know, those types of things. So I'm not that I'm preparing for that because we, we don't have a new house. Um, we've made offers, they've been declined. Like it's crazy right now in that front, but keeping that in mind, I'm trying to buy things that would go not only in this house. I hope that makes sense. Um, but as soon as I get more kitchen space, let me tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna be all over it. Um, so then I was buying other things. I have these separated into categories. So as I was buying other things, I saw somebody going by with those like scrubby brushes that you like put in your kitchen. I feel like I get so many ads for like Grove and like, you know, things like that. And they always feature these things. So I was like, okay, next, once I'm done, like with these other things, I'm walking to that aisle. So we currently have a, one of those like scrubby dispensers that like dispenses the soap. You like put soap in it and you push the button and it dispenses it and you can like wash your dishes. That is phenomenal. Like we completely love it. It has totally changed. We don't wash a ton of dishes, but it's totally changed the situation with our dishes. However, we drink a lot of smoothies and typically we drink them in like tall blender bottle, blender, you know, the thing you put on your blender, like that container. We typically drink the smoothie in there or like alternate in a really tall glass. That scrubby thing is just so inconvenient because you can't like put it sideways and scrub the sides of the glass. And the smoothies really tend to stick to plastic glasses. And even if you put them in the dishwasher, like if you don't rinse the glass out right away, it's just a crapshoot. So, so I wanted something to like help with that. Um, and so I just got this like baby scrubber, but it has a handle. So at least we can like, you know, put it inside the glass and scrub. So right now it only goes this way in the glass. So like we're essentially doing this thing where we like, sh or like move the glass or like shuffle it around this way. Cause we can't turn it this way. I think this is gonna solve a lot of headaches in our household. I just don't know where we're, I'm gonna put this because like, I don't wanna leave this out necessarily on the counter. It's not like that aesthetically pleasing at all. It does have like a little hook and it does have a little like thing with the tag, which I might just leave on so I can like hang it underneath the cabinets in the sink and just cut the tag off maybe. I don't know because I don't know if it'll fit on this is kind of thick so I think it'll help I don't know we'll see Corey I'm sure we'll give some things I purchased you know like he doesn't notice I feel like that's one he'll be like where what is this where did this come from because <laughs> when I brought bought the scrubby thing with the dish soap dispenser he was like oh my gosh I didn't know they made they made these I would have bought one of these like so long ago so some things are like total hits when I buy them and some things he's like why did we buy this like we don't need this so we'll see um while I was in that section I couldn't help myself I get totally sucked into like organizing TikToks which my house is not organized so that I just watch for like pure entertainment uh, fashion, same thing. Like I'm not very fashionable, but I like watching those. 
Um, and then cleaning. <laughs> cleaning like TikToks, reels, um, all those things for those categories. So um, a lot of people talk about this. I've never used it. Uh, it's called P Scrub Daddy Power Paste. I see everybody, oh, I didn't realize this opens. Um, I see everybody using these guys. They're called Scrub Daddies um, for cleaning. Oh, okay, one side's soft and one side's like really scrubby. It's not that I don't clean, but I just am like very, oh God, I'm very old school with like, I just use like what my mom used to use. Like I, I don't even really use like magic erasers or anything like that. I literally just use like my Sunset cleaning products and rags and then we wash them and then I do it again. Like I feel like it's so inefficient and there's so much better technology now like these scrubby things. <laughs> so, um, essentially, I don't even know what this is, but I just was like, I see people using this and it looks like it does great. So it says you could use it on ovens, grills, stovetops, mineral deposits, grease and mildew, washer, dryers, chrome tile, toilets, granite, countertops, pots and pans, glass, silverware, showers, sinks. That's so much. Um, I, and probably most, like the hardest place for me to clean is showers and bathroom sinks. Like everything else is fine, but the we don't really have that hard of water, but it seems like they just get so stained so quickly. And then the bathroom toilets, but I probably wouldn't use this in the toilet and then use it other places. So I'm just gonna stick with sinks and showers. I'm assuming because there's probably instructions on the bottom. Um, I should have showed you, this is like a, paste it's like a clay almost and you like scrub this into it I think to activate it maybe you get your thing wet okay um clay based powder paste is naturally abrasive to remove grime soap scum mineral stains and more it's non-toxic and it's biodegradable um the scrub mommy applicator I don't know what the difference is between the scrub daddy and scrub mommy but they had those both at the store I was like I don't know what the difference is between these um, it lets you scrub, flip, and wipe without skipping a beat. So the scrubbing side, oh, it just says scrubbing side and sponge side. I don't know. Oh, dampen and rub Scrub Mommy's flex texture side on the paste to produce a cleaning foam. That's the rough side. Scrub soiled areas, rinse the surface clean using Mommy's Rezo foam side. Rinse and rinse sponge thoroughly before storing in well-ventilated area. Okay, I, I'm i going to give it a shot. I really, honestly, I clearly don't know what this is, like, or much about it. But I see people using it. And so, you know, those products that you just see everyone using. So you're like, it has to work. Or why would this many people be talking about it still? It drug me in, okay? And it's for cleaning. So, like, it's not bad. <laughs> it's going to help me have a cleaner home, hopefully. We'll see. Okay. And then while I was there, I turned around and it was like the plungers and the toilet brushes. I, <laughs> this is just getting so random. I have a current dilemma where I don't have, let me just show you. I bought this. I bought a toilet brush with a stand. Our current toilet brush doesn't have, it's just the brush. So I go through this annoying cycle where like I clean all the toilets and the last toilet I clean, I like, you know, leave the brush in and put the lid down so it can like drip dry, but it never really dries because no matter how long it sits there, it's in the toilet. Like it's not getting major airflow. Like it's just a horrible deal. It's so inconvenient. You need to go to the bathroom. You got to move the thing. It's still wet. If you want it to dry quicker, you leave the lid open, but then you have to close the bathroom door because you don't want Jem to jump up on the toilet like she does and then fall in and get wet in toilet water. Like the last couple times I've cleaned, I've just been like, why don't I have one that goes into a container? So this was the cheapest option of the ones they had. And I was like, I'm just buying it. I'm like sick and tired of this situation I'm in. So. At first I was really confused because it has like this little opposite direction pointed situation. 
but essentially it says that's to like clean under the rim. So instead of like flipping your deal and like scrubbing this way, you can just scrub normal and like this is gonna, I don't know. I, I do hate when you scrub the top with the brush and then water like sprays everywhere and you're like, yay, toilet water. Like, it, like cleaning the toilet's the freaking worst. Like I love when it's clean, but I hate the process. Um, I'm trying to make it a little bit better for myself. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but then you can just put this right in there and you don't have to worry about it. Like I'm assuming you could let it dry a little bit, but also I'm just gonna open this. I'm, the sad thing is like, I'm so excited about toilet bowl cleaning. Uh, I will have to be careful about this because Jemmy's extremely enthralled with this since I brought it home. She keeps trying to bite the handle and I'm nervous she'll try and bite the she loves things that like she isn't looking at me be oh, oh no <laughs> she loves these type like bristly things because it feels good on our teeth to bite them we don't need to bite the toothbrush yet so this is literally just a bowl so yeah you could just stick it right in here it just stands on its own and then if you feel I, you could easily wipe this out it's just plastic but it's got a little rubber bottom so it's not gonna like slide around i'm so freaking happy about this the only thing better is if it had a handle and then I could carry it onto every single bathroom I went to, but that's not necessary. Um, I, adulting. It's so sad. It's so sad the things we're excited about these days, you know? Uh, yeah. Also, speaking about cleaning like my mom, she always did that same exact thing. Like she's never had this type of contraption. Even if you put it away in a closet, like it just is so less hassle because you don't have a wet brush in your toilet that never dries. I've never asked her what she's done with that. Like, how does she overcome that in her household? Okay, and then, you know, I was naturally walking around the rest of Target because I had to, and I came across this little dish, which says spoon. It's um, hearth in hand, which is the, like Magnolia. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, brand. It was only $3, but we are so bad. We don't have one of these. We're so bad about putting our spoons just right on the stove. Or we'll pull out like a small plate and then put that, like if I'm, if I'm aware and it's getting messy, I'll bring out the plate. Corey's never brought out a plate on his own. Um, but I'll put it there. So, you know, we're making spaghetti, like you can put the sauce thing there, the noodle one there, whatever. But then like, we'll never wash the plate and like put it back. We just put it in the dishwasher. So like we go through a lot of plates when we do that. Um, we cook on the stove like probably four nights a week, if not seven, like between four and seven typically is how many days a week we use the stove. And I personally think when Corey uses the stove, he's really messy about it. So like this keeping the stove clean is already difficult. Um, but this was $3 and so you just, you know, put your spoon in it. It's got the little rest thing or whatever. So like you just put your spoon right in it. I'm sure you guys all know what this is. I've just, we've never had one. Um, I was like, this will be so beneficial. Like it'll make me so satisfied to just have that there. And then you can just wipe it out and put it back. You don't have to like put it in the dishwasher, do the whole bit. Yeah. I'm really, the things that excite us. <laughs> Need I say more? Okay. Um, I want to talk about some of the makeup I picked up. So I used to be so into makeup. Like you guys, if you're not new to my channel, if you've been here for a while, you know, this was a makeup channel. Like that's how it started. I was super, super into makeup. Um, I still appreciate makeup, but I don't feel like I look as good as I used to in like full on beat. <laughs> it's just my skin texture is not the same. Like I have zero makeup on right now. So <laughs> I haven't even washed my face yesterday. I'm not doing so hot. So I can appreciate it from afar, but I like a very more, um, very much more simple routine these days. So yeah, I'm just like, I'm not on the same level I once was with, with my makeup game. So 
I picked up a couple things just because I, I'm in that point where I have a ton of makeup from like when I was super into it. And then I have like a few new things, but I'm in this weird lull of like, is that tool to put on my face? Like I've had it for a really long time. I know makeup expires. I know, I mean, because I was so involved in it. Like I, I was into the thing, you know, I knew all these things. So I know it expires. I know you can like make powders last longer, things like that. But I'm just to the point where I'm like, do I replace everything because like, like, do I just buy my favorite bronzer and be done with it? Like, I don't need 10 if I just buy my favorite one and it's good. Um, I'm kind of at that point with my makeup collection. So I picked up a few things that I wanted to try that like, I don't really have these in my collection for the most part. So I didn't feel horrible picking them up like, oh, I'm neglecting all my other things because I'm at this weird point with like my makeup collection. Um, I will say this one thing I picked up just totally caught my eye. It was not on my radar at all. I made a list before I went. Obviously some of these things weren't on the list. This is one of them. So this is the Holy Hydration Moisturizer from e.l.f. But it's in this packaging that I presume is a pump. I'm gonna open it right now. So I use this moisturizer. I use the fragrance free version. So I'm really nervous to see if this has a smell because it doesn't explicitly say fragrance free like the other ones I use, but I use this morning and night and it's in a jar, which is fine, but jars just aren't the most sanitary. Like no matter how you slice it, they're just not. Um, so I'm really curious to see, I, I legit couldn't help myself. Did I need this? No, but I, like I said, I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay. It's the same exact situation. Ho oh, ho, it is in a pump. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Let's just, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be amazing. That was like a lot of moisturizer for a small pump. It seems like it's a little bit of a thinner consistency probably to go through the pump. It does have a slight, slight smell because I have the fragrance free. Like it definitely isn't the fragrance free version but the smell is so slight, like you almost wouldn't notice it. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about this. Also, um, this is like one of my favorite moisturizers. I've rebought this, I think at least three or four times, not including this buy, cause this isn't really a like needed purchase. Um, I used to only use it in the morning cause it's more of like a lightweight moisturizer and potentially in once we get like into deep winter when it gets cold here, I may use a heavier one at night, but right now I've been using it in the morning and the evening. So I just use two different face washes. Um, I feel like at night, at the end of the day, I have my makeup on. So like I like to use a face wash that gets my makeup off and then I'll use like my salicylic acid face wash. Don't take skincare advice from me. Like I'm not the epitome of flawless skin. Like I have so many breakouts, <laughs> but um, it's just who I am these days for, you know, maybe the past like five years. Um, but I use like a creamy face wash, which is kind of like a cleansing balm in a sense, like is how I use it. Um, so if I'm feeling dry, I'll use that twice or I'll use it as a cleansing bulb and then go in with like my salicylic acid cleanser. And then in the morning, I use a foaming face wash to kind of get my skin ready to put on makeup and do all the things. Like I feel like when I wake up, I don't care if I go to bed and I wash my face and my face feels more oily because like I use the more moisturizing cleanser. I don't care about that but I don't want to do that before I put on makeup. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I, because I was into beauty and I'm not like totally fully removed from it, I think about things way more than other people. So anyway, let's just go in the natural progression of how you do your makeup. I picked up the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Once again, I definitely didn't need to get this. I do, I've never tried this. I've only tried the Tatcha one that this is a dupe for, like one time as a sample that's it so this is essentially just like a pore filling primer and I feel like my pores in this section of my face I just 
when they when I use a primer where they look smoother I love it I don't really use primer right now um because I just don't have any that I love I don't have any actually <laughs> until now um so yeah I also was looking for the elf um the Charlotte Tilbury dupe of the flawless filter it's like the elf glow what you guys know what I'm talking about it's the dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury um use what is it freaking called superstar youth glow flawless filter for superstar youth glow that's what it's called um I have that and I love it the packaging freaking sucks like it's so expensive and the packaging sucks like that's ridiculous so I really wanted the elf one because I wanted to get it in like the lightest shade available because right now I think I have the Charlotte Tilbury in like a three and that's when I'm like pale that's gonna be too dark so I'll continue looking for it they had it at Target which is where I bought some of this this one I specifically bought at Walmart and then I bought this at Walmart too um they had the elf dupe at Target but they only had the deepest shades like all the light shades were completely sold out so I was like obviously the popularity like you can tell things that are popular because of like TikTok and all the things because they were completely sold out so I was like well damn <laughs> there you have it so also while I was in the elf section this is actually at Target but I was looking for the Hollywood flawless filter dupe I picked up a hydrating camo concealer from elf and I picked it up in the shade fair warm at Walmart they were sold out of all of the fair shades except for they had this like really like pinkish undertone type shade and I went with this it says fair warm so I'm assuming it has more of a yellow undertone but here's the deal I'm not going to use this under my eyes I only have one concealer right now and it's the Glossier stretch concealer and I love that to pieces like it's the most natural concealer under my eyes 100% repurchase like I love how it looks on my skin it's not like it doesn't crease or anything like it's if you're trying to go full beat it's just not that it's super natural um it's like that no makeup makeup type situation I got this specifically because I heard this is like full coverage I got this specifically to cover up like acne and like redness and things like that so this won't necessarily be an everyday like use I love the packaging this came out like a lifetime ago and I think it has the doe foot yeah so there's a ton of concealer that comes off on this I think the shade will be fine it may be not in deep winter but then I could just get a different shade I guess but I'm literally just gonna use this for like covering up acne and I'll probably put it on under my foundation so the shade wow that shade match though that was pretty good that was pretty good just saying you speed a beauty <laughs> that was pretty good um also if I was like super neutral I feel like I'm I lean more neutral but I mostly have it's like warm leaning neutral um you could buy like the pinkier lighter shade and then mix them together uh this is definitely like I wouldn't put this under my eyes I don't know if you can see this but um it looks like it settles so I think it'll be perfect for acne and like because I get these like spots on my chin that I just want to cover up but I have the Glossier <laughs> which is like here's no coverage and here's the Glossier <laughs> and then this is like way over here um it just is no coverage and then the foundations I have is the um it's from L'Oreal it's with the dropper can't think of the name of it but it's it's not the most coverage but it actually looks really nice on my skin so it doesn't cover a ton but I, I'm not looking for full coverage but I thought that would be a nice option to cover things as I need I don't want to like mask my whole face so this is taking so long I, I do apologize okay um I also picked up this NYX epic smoke liner so I won't open this one but this is essentially just like a liner with one of those brushes that used to be all the rage in like 2016 2015 um and so you can like smoke out your liner I'm like super into that look but I'm so uncoordinated with doing any sort of like winged liner that some days it looks really bad like one day 
it looked so bad and one of my coworkers, a male he's like the guy who always calls me out if like i look stupid he's the coworker who called me out one time for wearing blue eyeshadow at work like when i was super into makeup one day i wore blue eyeshadow and he was like are you wearing blue eyeshadow and i was like I can do what I want here, okay? Yes, I'm wearing blue eyeshadow, but then I never wore it again because I was so self-conscious. <laughs> he is like the one person, like the one day, I feel like my eyeliner looked stupid, but I was running late and I didn't really know how to fix it at that point. And I'm not like the person who does the wing. I just like do a little bit at the corners to make my eyes look not as round. Um, he was like, what's going on with like your eye today? And I was like, yeah, my eyeliner. And it's an eye. I messed up. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, it's a thing. He's like, oh, I didn't know if like you were doing a new thing or not. And I was like, literally fuck off. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so <laughs> we, um, yeah, I'm going to try this because what could it hurt? You know what I mean? So we'll see. Okay. Speaking of eyes, I needed some new mascara. I love the CoverGirl, um, exhibitionist line of mascara and then they started coming out with their covergirl exhibitionist uncensored line of mascara which i really enjoy but i feel like the brush is getting really goopy which is kind of pointing me towards like it's time to rebuy but i feel like it's excessively goopy like more than normal so i went this time with the stretch and strengthen version of the exhibitionist which i think is maybe new i'm not entirely positive um, and then it has this different type of brush. It's kind of like a more volumizing type of brush versus, uh, the other kind of brush that's like an hourglass shape. I don't know. Um, and I typically get black brown because I don't, I just, I, my hair on my face is not that like intense like I feel like at some points like I don't have blonde eyebrows but I feel like if I look certain ways it's like my eyebrows kind of you can't see like here like you almost can't see them as well because they're like kind of blonde hair but kind of not blonde you know so I just like these days to go with black brown I used to totally be like a extreme black waterproof you know my my preferences have just changed so much so I've been using black brown for quite a while so and I feel like it's always available because everyone's always buying very black, extreme black, waterproof, extreme black. And I'm like, could I get the, the black brown? <laughs> I used to sometimes just buy straight up brown, <laughs> which I also feel like looked good on me. Um, and then I also randomly, I got the Makeup Revolution Soap Styler. This is like for your brows. Um, I haven't even been saying where I've been getting these things from. <laughs> I got this one from Target. I got the CoverGirl mascara and the NYX brow pencil from Walmart. I'm sure you can find them at both places. So this is kind of like a dupe for the Patrick Ta. Not that I have tried that. <laughs> I've heard the packaging of this is like super cheap, but also the price was super cheap. Like I've heard it like falls out sometimes if you're not careful, but it's just like a, um, this is just like a waxy kind of material. Yeah, it comes with this brush, which I would never use. Like, I would use this for cleaning before I would use this on my brows. It looks so uncomfortable. Uh, I have the spoolie. I used to do soap brows because I used to be into makeup. So I just wanted to check this out um, because I use a brow gel. No. A brow gel I think right now and I feel like I just wanted something different like I, my brows are pretty full bad lighting my brows are pretty full they just don't sit very well like they they tend to do this thing where they do this which I absolutely hate so I do this all day long to like keep them pushed up but we'll see if this works I don't know um I will say when I was like super into makeup one time I did soap brows and then we went to the lake jet skiing and water got on my face and hit my brows and the soap went into my eyes and then I really regretted doing soap brows I really thought about when I did them after that so if you're having a lake day don't do soap brows if you plan to get wet that was like the dumbest thing I didn't even think about that until I had soap in my eyes R.I.P. <laughs> it was so bad okay I got two lotion-y type things so I was gonna look up how this is pronounced but I totally forgot it's I think a new brand to Target it's called being French 
F-R-E-N-S-C-H-E. French? I don't know if that's like a funny way to spell like French, like France French, or if we're, it's like completely pronounced different. I don't know. Um, this is just called their Soothe, Soothe and Comfort Cashmere Vanilla Scent Hand Cream. So, and it has squalling and shea butter, damn. They had a ton of scents in these and they have all kinds of um, kinds. I'm just gonna put it on. They were sealed in the store. So I opened the fragrance uh, oil and smelled it. They have like these fragrance oils that have a roller ball on top. And it kind of, if it smells good, I was like, I might have to go back and get that. Oh yeah, it's just a really nice, lightly scented vanilla. It kind of almost like, it, it's definitely, it's called cashmere vanilla and I can see why. It's kind of got like a warm coziness plus a hint of vanilla. It's super lightly scented. So I kind of was thinking, I got a lot of nail stuff. And the gal's video I watched, I like, she w went through her whole routine. She's like, here's what I recommend. And I essentially bought everything from her routine. And she's like, at the end, I use hand cream to like kind of moisturize my hand. So this is the one I bought kind of for that routine. And it's just like a tiny, I don't know. It's not oily in any type of sense. So I feel like it'd be good for that. And then I bought this bad boy. It's the Flamingo Daily Moisturizing Lotion. And it's the White Willow Bark and Papaya I don't know if those are the scents or that's what it has in it. I don't know. It's freaking massive. <laughs> it's 10 fluid ounces and I think there was a bigger bottle but they were sold out of it. But I'm like, this is already so big. It has a really good scent actually. It's like perfumey in a way. I don't know. Oh, notes of vetiver and bergamot. There you have it. <laughs> It smells really freaking good. I really like it. Um, it sinks in really, really fast. Wow, yeah. I feel like, I don't know. I was gonna say, is it was it more moisturizing than the other one? But they both kind of feel the same. Okay, I really like this. Um, it's not as thick, it's not like a body cream. It's definitely a body lotion. Um, Hydrate all day, get all day moisture without the stickiness. It's definitely not sticky whatsoever. Neither of them are sticky. This one especially not. Like this one's not even oily or anything. This one I applied more recently, so I'm not pretty impressed with these. Okay. Um, <laughs> Squally nourishes white willow bark and papaya extract exfoliate the skin's surface, encouraging natural cell turnover to reveal even more radiant skin over time. That makes me like not, that would make me afraid to use this every day, but it says daily. I don't know. Um, notes of vetiver and bergamot, fresh and subtle, not too floral or sweet. I totally agree. It's a beautiful scent. Um, directions, apply with abandon to lock in moisture for up to 24 hours. I don't feel like you would need that much. Like that little, I use like a very little pea size amount and I covered like the whole side of my arm here um absorb before you know it i totally agree i really like this it was only 7.99 maybe for this giant bottle i'm impressed okay um i'm gonna go through nails hopefully quickly and then i'm gonna quickly touch on the the scents i bought recently <sighs> okay so to go through these quickly i got a whole new nail routine situation i got these supplies which are this cuticle serum from olive and june uh buffer nail buffers i don't own one of these right now so um and then i got this olive and june nail polish cleanup brush which essentially is to like help you i'm, I'm just really struggling with my nails i really don't want to get them that close to the screen because i'm like really annoyed with them right now but also i'm using the worst freaking nail polish from amazon that i got for free from somebody and it's so bad <laughs> it's so so bad so <laughs> anyway, um, for actual, like the nail polish portion, I got this Orally Bonder base coat, which is specifically recommended <laughs> by the person's video I watched. Um, they said it's kind of like a, it almost stays tacky, 
when you apply it, which they said they think helps the nail polish stick. And then I got the Olive and June top coat, super glossy. Also, it's super reflective, so you probably can't see it very well. Um, and then I got three colors, which are totally in my color palette of neutrals. So I really wanted like a nice fall brownie shade, but they didn't have those yet. So I'm going to have to go back maybe once I realize what I like. Um, I got three different brands that I feel like were the best. I don't, I don't know. I am new to this. Okay. Uh, I got Olive in June. I got G8 which is literally like the lightest pink. Like you, it's kind of similar to what's on my nails right now probably. Um, it looks like it's kind of a sheer pink. I don't know. I got Essie Gel Couture in, um, it doesn't have a color. Is this the color? Oh my gosh, you can't read that. Oh, Jesus on the top. Of course it. Like, of course, set. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> these I heard are better than the regular style of SE polishes, this like turned kind. It says gel couture, but they're not gel polishes. They're just regular polish. I was taking advice from the video, okay? And then I got this OPI Dulce de Leche, which looks totally up my alley, color wise, <laughs> three colors I got. I can wear all three of those together and I feel like you wouldn't even know. Okay. Lastly, let's just quickly cover perfumes. So I recently got some perfume orders. I got a Scentbird subscription process that I got. Um, I'm not going to go through like the notes of these because I haven't used any of them yet, <clears throat> but I want to start featuring them in like my weekly in my weekly fragrance roundup, where I talk about like the home fragrance I use, I would ideally love to talk about the nail polish I've been using because I really want to get my nail situation back on track. And then I would like to feature like the perfume of the week kind of. So let's just get into it. Um, let's talk about the two from Target first. So this is just a body mist, but it's from Mix Bar. I feel like I'm so late to the game on this, but this is the scent Vanilla Bourbon. This is a hideous, you can see my, <laughs> you can see my face right through that. That was so ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't remember the prices. I think it was $10. I got the scent Vanilla Bourbon. There was only one left on the shelf. This is like super hard to open, um, but it's just a fragrance mist. I feel like this is a nice scent to refresh. It's very fall vanilla to me. I told you I wasn't going to talk about this stuff, but here I go. Um, I also got this, like, I think it's a rollerball or spray. It's a spray. Um, and this is just this small size. And it's the Good Chemistry brand, and it's Cheerful Charmer. And on the outside, it says coconut milk, apple blossom, and vanilla. I sprayed this in the store and I was like, I just sprayed it because like I couldn't really smell it through the bottle. And I, but I, I hate spraying things like not on the strips because it just like lingers in the air. And then the whole area smelled and like I, I could smell. Um, it, I like sprayed it kind of on my hand. Like I put my hand through that mist or whatever and then I could smell it. And then like the whole entire area smelled and people were walking by and they were like, oh, like, I wonder what perfume was over here sprayed. But it was being so awkward in the store. I didn't want to be like, oh, it was me. This is the one. Like, <laughs> I just felt so awkward. But it was really nice. So, <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about the Scentbird um, fragrance I received. So I got the Skylar Vanilla Sky. I'm really curious about this one. So this is just like comes in, you know, that container and then you get the, the situation. You get one every month and then you just put it in this container to reuse it. So I'm curious about this one for sure. And then some others in that same type of packaging I got. I got these from Micro Perfumes, which not that it's a sketchy website, but like, it's, I mean, I got my order. So like, I don't know, take that with a grain of salt, but it's, it's obviously like, not that it's not legit. I just don't know how to describe it. it something about it just made me feel uncomfortable, but I, I would probably use it again. So, um, 
they're clearly like after aftermarket probably doesn't sound like the right term but they're like unlabeled it literally says scan this qr code to find out more on your fragrance like they're obviously doing things on the cheap or whatever like they're not packaged is that where they save their money i don't know but there's just a little sticker on here that tells you what it is which is fine but this is ariana grande cloud which i love I love, I love, I love the scent of this. Um, so yeah, but it's the same style. Did I show you that? It just like, you know, twists up, it pulls out, but they all come and then it's just labeled like that. Um, yeah, I just got the baby ones because that's all I cared to get. Uh, but I would probably buy from this again if I, well, I'll use them first, but if I have a good experience, I'll probably buy them again. Um, and then this one, I got the... I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's K-A-Y-A-L-I. I heard a lot of people talking about this. It's their Vanilla 28. It's like a darker color. I feel like that's not super authentic colored. Um, this one smells so good just in the packaging. Oh yes, okay. Can't wait to like test these all out and like start to use them. So then I'll update you guys in my weekly videos. I actually also ended up getting a dossier. <laughs> I don't know. I just kind of like went off the deep end with the fragrance situation. So I ended up getting a, I, you pronounce this dossier, right? Essentially what they do is they like dupe. It says iconic scents, um, designer quality, no markups. They like dupe popular scents and um, they just like, charge you less because they don't there's no fancy packaging I don't know if they like just don't upcharge you or like if they use a little bit different fragrance oils but I've heard great things um the price points are literally $29 $39 $49 so this was the most expensive at $49 I think um and this is the ambery saffron which came with this little card um it has notes of saffron orange saffron and orange blossom middle notes of jasmine plum and cedarwood base notes of oak moss fir balsam and amber um essentially it says this is a dupe of the baccarat rouge 540 which i had no idea what that meant but it smells like ariana grande cloud like all of those are kind of there's a ton of these versions of these i guess they all kind of dupe this baccarat rouge 540 it's amazing. I can't wait to wear this. I know somebody at my work, she probably wears the expensive one. <laughs> she probably has the background rouge version actually, but she, every day she comes to my desk, I'm just like, you smell amazing. I've never said this to her, but I just think it, you know, as she comes by. And one day it finally clicked like, oh my gosh, she actually, it's Ariana Grande cloud is what she smelled like. And then, um, and now that I think about it, now that I realize there's all these different versions of that type of scent, I'm like, you know, she probably has the most expensive version because the way she smells isn't exactly Ariana Grande cloud. And now that I realize there's so many versions of people duping this type of scent, um, I, I'm like, yes, like this is the genre. One of these dupes or the actual thing is clearly what she's wearing and I love it. And I loved Cloud before I have a Cloud. I now I have these ones. Um, I also have Dime Beauty Seven Summers coming to me, which I also have heard is a dupe of this type of scent. So I'm just really curious to try all of them to kind of see what is what. And then I went to Sephora and I got three scents. So I had my eye on these two scents. Um, the first one is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I've heard lots of good things about this. Um, this, I, I'm really like, vanilla is my, my go-to. So this, for scent notes, says, I don't know. I legit don't know. Um, does it have notes? I'm sure it does if you look it up on Sephora. But honestly to me this is a more spring summer vanilla it's 
got like a hint of floral or something in it. I'm gonna wear it on my skin to test it out, but this seems more summery spring, at least in the bottle to me. Um, and then I wanted to check out the Nest Madagascar Vanilla. They didn't have a tester of this, so I just bought it. And then when I got to my car, I smelled it um, because they didn't have any tester out and they didn't have a full size bottle to spray on the little dispenser. Don't know what's up with that, but this is actually a rollerball but this one I feel like is kind of hard to, it's definitely vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to test it out. I'm gonna test all these out, like I said, but it's definitely just vanilla. Okay, and then the last one I got before I make this one whole hour is um, Replica by the Fireplace. This has been talked about for years. I'm so late to the game on this, but I've always been too scared to try it. And then I smelled it in the store and I was like, oh my gosh. This was the most expensive and the tiniest bottle. Well, kind of, like from my Sephora purchases. This smells so good just smelling the bottle. It says burning wood and chestnut, but it kind of smells like this lady who I know, who I associate with like, richness <laughs> not that she's like the richest person ever she's like a stay-at-home wife but like I totally associate her vibe and like the clothes she wears and like just her everything with like I feel like she smells like this so it's super cozy and super rich I don't get burning wood which I was I feel like I was nervous about like it would smell like a fire or something. I kind of get like a warm chestnut, chestnutty caramel-esque type sense. I'm gonna try it out. So I'm really, I, I think out of everything, that one surprised me the most because I was always so nervous to try it, but I actually ended up really liking it. So I have a lot of things to test here. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out with this really random type of haul. Um, if you guys would like to see me incorporate like nails and perfume and anything else into my more like weekly roundup type videos or if you'd rather me do something different with those like have a specific home fragrance and maybe like a more beauty section that I could do like bi-weekly uh, maybe let me know let me know your thoughts um sorry this got so long I didn't plan on talking this long but thank you guys for hanging out with me um I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried any of these things. So <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.